coming from the kitchen because I'm gonna make some eggs. So welcome back to a new vlog. Yes, I'm red. I went out to the park yesterday and I think because I was in and out of the water with my brothers, I burnt like a motherfucker. I'm not too bad on my arms now, it's going down, so it's just my chest area. So oh, it does hurt though. Like I actually feel like I've got back pain. But yeah, if my arms have gone down, my chest will go down. Do I make fried eggs? My dog's staring at me. She loves the back door open, so I've opened the back door for her. But it's like, it's not good enough. She wants me to come out with her. I never asked Liz to do anything. She just makes a mess. You know what? Let's add a bit of garlic and a bit of sweet paprika. I love them. Might as well add it into the sweet thing as well. Made more of a mess. By the way, I used after sun all on my arms every time I woke up in the night and I think that's how the redness went down quite quickly. I was using it on my neck but I think my neck's just worse so I will just keep applying it. I'm going to have a cool bath in a minute but it's my shoulders that hurt, you know. Like It doesn't hurt, my shoulders hurt. It's so annoying, like how did I get burnt by the English sun like this? Look at this. Don't that look so yummy? Okay, so Watching a bit of Beth this morning as well. Excuse the mess. But <laughs> I had this thing spare. I've used it before a few times. And I thought, why not be a bit more comfier under there? And plus, I can stretch my legs out. Go on then, up. Up. No? Let's see, let's see how that works out. Because the chair just gets so uncomfortable. And we've got this mess to clean up. Literally see how sunburnt I am. My face isn't too bad. There. So I'm just going to wear something loose for now. Um, this has been a lifesaver. If you've never tried this, Poundland, I'm telling you, I was putting this on all night. Don't get me wrong, it kind of balls up a little bit. But do you know what? It really helped my arms. My chest is a bit out of control. So I think I need something like 100 times stronger for my chest. I, like I just showed you that thing I was sitting on, I feel so low now, but comfortable. <laughs> so I just got to pull my camera down a bit because it's way up there and I'm down here now. That chair is just so uncomfortable. If you're sitting down filming for a few hours, it's not great. And by the way, if you haven't got this Relove sponge, you need to get it. It is amazing super super amazing it's so soft it does feel like something that if you're not careful you will tear but it is proper amazing I'm just gonna clean up down here i've got a whole load of videos that i want to film if i can get my words out so yeah i'm gonna start on that and it's such a cloudy day which is nice because then it's not too hot in here the sun's not beaming in. When the sun's beaming in, it's just so hot. I'm hoping you can hear me over that fan, but I need that bloody fan. Um, so yeah, I think. I also, because I don't know how much I'm filming, I've just wet a couple of other beauty blenders. But sometimes it's nice to have these for highlight as well, you know, because I like a nice cream highlight. So I've got these. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Should have seen that video by now, but. Like, this this was the new glow face and body foundation blender thing it's really hard compared to these and then if you compare it to this one i'm squeezing the same and that one is just like you can do that whereas that it's really hard to do that with so yeah don't think i'll use that again maybe if i put something on my if i was to put foundation over that then maybe that but i'm not going to put foundation over my chest i'm just I'm not even gonna touch it i'm gonna put loose clothing on i've been on the nhs website to see like what's best to do and yeah they say like aloe vera after sun um loose clothing cool baths or showers i can't remember but i've been having cool baths um i've just been making sure i follow that advice and it's been working you know like my shoulders are the only areas that really burn and I feel like I'm gonna peel on my shoulders um but they like when you move they actually hurt so yeah I look like a hot mess but I promise you I'm not I swear 
just finished this look I used the Death by Chocolate palette and I love that palette. That was inspired by Beth to get that palette. So really, really happy with it. Um, considering it, it's an old I Heart palette, I'm really, really happy with it. Like It looks really nice. The pigmentation was there. The color story is nice. Um, just wish there was a few more mattes. And there's one color in there I was a bit confused about. But yeah, you'll see that in the video um but yeah i'm really really happy with the makeup i'm gonna film an unboxing and a haul and then maybe the lip glosses these ones the baby glosses um then i'm hungry that is the fan in the background but sitting on this like this is so much better i'm just going to turn off the lights for a bit because i am starving there's been a lot of drilling outside so what i'm gonna do take my makeup off my brother has been moaning at me to make some mac and cheese so i'm gonna make some mac and cheese um and then eat and film i've got so much to film so that's what i'm gonna do is just keep filming 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 i want to make sure the week that i'm having off work that i'm using it wisely so have a bit of fun do some filming um and just catch up with all the new releases that i haven't been able to film with so yeah um let's get into me taking my makeup off i've got some swatches but because my hand's red i'm gonna use my cleansing balm to get it off and now that we're getting to summer this is very soft all right i'm about to open this back door yeah watch this as soon as saf hears me opening this ultimate fail hey <laughs> she loves the balcony <laughs> all right so we're making mac and cheese i don't know how much you're gonna see of this but i've got some water boiling with a bit of salt in the stock cube over here i've got a little pot for my sauce i've got some flour almond milk dairy-free butter the only thing that isn't dairy-free is the cheese <laughs> I don't know how you guys work things, but I do, I eyeball everything. So a bit of butter and I melt it. All right, butter has melted. So what I do is I add some flour, just a little bit. By the way, this is me making the mac and cheese sauce. And then I just kind of mix it into the butter till it kind of makes like a paste. like that then we add the milk add quite a bit and then you just keep going butter flour butter flour until you've got the amount that you need and i just keep whisking so like right now it's quite watery but the more flour you add the thicker it will get basic recipe as well that food was so nice i know i started off showing you how i made it but literally after i made the sauce i put a bit of cheese in there to melt while i cooked the pasta and then i put the pasta and the sauce together in a little um oven dish and then throw more cheese over the top i just threw some chops in the oven and we had some food and then we just sat and chatted me and my two brothers for a little while and now I feel like it's time to do a bit of filming. We've got churros on the way, which I am so happy for. But yeah, and what I watch Hollyoaks in the corner while I'm not filming, but yeah, oh, this sunburn, man, it's crazy. This isn't really, it's just kind of a little bit red, but yeah, let me get into filming. I'm going to film it's more revolution stuff. <laughs> I'm just trying to get all the new releases out of the way and then I'll be on top of them hopefully soon the churros are here and they're filled with chocolate so nice the dog wants to be in here but she can't have the churros and she's realized so now she wants to run out in it sir you're stuck now girl i'm not getting up so good mm. sorry it's so close for me but it's just so nice mm. and chocolate look at that 
So what do we think of this makeup look? This is the Tasty Coconut Palette. I absolutely love it. I love the iHeart Revolution Coconut um, pa Tasty Palettes because their pigmentation is just amazing. I did use the serum foundation and I feel like it's already gone really oily on me today. Um, I don't know why, it's never gone this oily on me. So yeah, I did use a different primer though. I used this one instead of this one from Relove. So maybe it's the primer, but I am hopefully tomorrow gonna to be testing out that foundation for a whole day. So, or a good six to eight hours. So yeah, it'd be good to know how it works, but I need to film one more video, which is a lip swatch video. Actually, I can do that tomorrow. I feel like, yeah, let's do that tomorrow. I'm gonna take this makeup off and then just relax for the evening probably. I want to start watching Harry Potter again, so I'm going to do that. So I hope you did enjoy this daily vlog and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.